great at taking it away and stingy at it, giving it back. Play action. Bills. Good pass. It's complete all the way across to the 27 to DJ Moore, and another flag comes in late. Yeah, I think they got flagged for hitting the quarterback late, roughing the quarterback. Personal foul. Roughing the pass. Defense number 30. The 15 yard penalty will be added on to the end of the run. First down. That's Riley Bullis' second. The senior should know better. You know, sometimes you have a penalty. We saw the first one, but man, and he doesn't look vicious, but you've got to pull off that quarterback. They're going to protect the quarterback. Two personal fouls on Bulla when he made contact with the quarterback, Hills. So the ball's all the way out to the 42. Harrison. Swarm. And brought down. It's a loss of a bunch. It's a loss of six, they're going to call it. Second down at 16. Now that's a good play by Bulla. Yeah. Guarantee you, Mark Schneider, the linebacker coach for Michigan State, he'll have a little chat with number 30 when he comes out of the game. But they need him in the game, and they need him playing Michigan State, Riley Buller football, not making those mistakes. Second down at 16. What's your thought process here, coach? Well, things aren't going well. I'm going to be a little conservative, try to gain a little yardage back. Kenneth Goins into the game for the first time. Short pass and Bulla again coming up with vengeance and a flag comes down. DJ Moore made the catch. Bulla tackled him immediately and that's when the flag came out. Oh my. He didn't hit him with the crown of his head but he hit him in the face. Targeting, it's going to be an early night for Riley Buller. He will be ejected from the game. The other thing on that play that didn't get flagged, Malik McDowell was arguing vehemently with the referee that he was being held on the pass rush. This, well, it's already three personal fouls on Riley Buller in the first 11 minutes of the game. And it's quite possible he's gone. He's hoping that the video replay re review booth is going to keep him in the game, but I don't know. Let's check in with uh, rules analyst Mike Pereira. Mike, what are your thoughts on what you saw? I'll tell you, we have seen a lot of this today, and I think it is targeting because of the fact he does get him with the crown of the helmet in the head or neck area. And also, there's one of the indicators. They talk about that. Is there a launch? Is there kind of a crouch and a spring upward? And I think you get a bit of a launch. I don't think they can turn this over to make it not targeting, so I think it stays. Thank you, Mike. Uh, you know, I would agree with Mike's assessment because it was rule targeting on the field. You don't, you don't see where he goes low and it's the shoulder. It's head to head. Yeah, there's a lot of other places he could have tried to tackle D.J. Moore. Yeah, it was just a couple of weeks ago that a game changed, really, negatively for Michigan State when Malik McDowell got yeah. ejected for targeting against Indiana. Here's the rule. After review. Michigan State is disqualified from the game. There will be a 15 yard penalty and automatic first down. That is a big time blow to Michigan State. A big time blow, and there's number 30. I mean, there's three personal fouls against one guy in the first quarter. I don't know if he's upset with the call or upset with Bullock. Probably both. Bullock's cost his team 45 yards. 